Well, we're here at Puddin' River Chocolate. That's right, it doesn't have a G on the end of it, right? Right. Right, yeah. it's Puddin' River Puddin. Chocolate <laughs> with Teresa Sassy. Listen, this is the place, Easter's coming, and what do you do? You buy chocolates, right? Well, this is the place. You look in the background, you got chocolates here. We got you? chocolates. Yeah, tell us a kinds. little about that, though. Chocolates, polka dot, cho uh, polka dot Easter bunnies. We've got solid Easter bunnies. We got peanut butter Easter bunnies. We've got all different milk dark. Uh, White, um, all kinds of exciting things. Uh, coconut caramels. Yeah. Yeah. You name yeah. it, you, you got. You name it, you got. And we you got can see it. the. We background. created heavily. Well, but this you year. do. You do a lot of the creation, or all of the creation, we do it right all. here. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about that process, because you bur you purchase different raw chocolates, and then you do blending. We do a blend. We okay. do our own blend from different countries, uh, European chocolates only. Yeah. So then we create and hand make everything here in the shop. Our caramels, our toffee. Hazelnut toffee is huge. Oh, yeah. um, we've added uh, coconut caramels this year because coconut has become such a big yeah, thing. Yeah, it has. Absolutely, you know, it's yes. a kind of a yeah, yeah right now. And so, um, yeah, we just do it all. You homemade, do. homemade, homemade, homemade. And it's so, all homemade. And that's yeah. and and. Let's turn the corner here. People may not know that you also do homemade food and you serve it right. here. When yes. are your hours? And tell us a little so, bit about the, the so, wine bar and yeah. the dinner. Thing. Okay, so we are actually open Tuesday and Wednesday, 9 to 6. And then Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we're open 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Okay. So um, people come in a lot of the times at lunchtime for an appetizer. Sure. We don't serve lunch, but we will serve an appetizer and some wine. Nice. But dinners normally start around 5 on those three days. And it's comfort food, it's homemade food, um, or chocolates are handcrafted, of course, but yes. um, it's great. The ambiance is really nice, candles are lit, nice. and um, we just have a great time. You have a great yeah. wine bar, too. Great right? wine bar, yeah. great wine bar, yes. And then we um, also serve our number one appetizer, actually happens to be the cheese fondue. Which is right here, by the way. And and you invent, I mean, this is your This is our recipe, our well. great, mm -hmm, and right. it's starting to blast out to a lot of retail stores. Well, and so. I know, yeah, a lot of retail stores, and I know there's at least one restaurant in town that serves it up. Right, exactly. It's so doggone good, right? Exactly. Well, here it does, yeah. so that's very cool. Yeah, yeah, they took it on, and then we also then have... also a, do, yeah, um, It's a pimento cheese bread, and on the kick side of that, we also do a beer cheese bread, but this one is actually packaged, and it's going retail now. That's Actually. fantastic. So yeah, a lot of work, but it's been great. Now I got to tell you, I've had an opportunity to taste this, and mm -hmm. as kids, um, mom always used to put a cheese spread um, in celery, right? Right, celery. celery. And mm -hmm. this is or a one sandwich. of those or sandwich, right? Yeah. This would be fantastic on a hamburger. Would be we love it on really hamburger. Cool. It's very, really, very, really very nice. Very good. Now. Yeah. Uh, a couple of other things. How long have you been here at Puddin' River? Um, we have been actually at this current facility retail for seven years, actually. Oh um, gosh, this month. Really? Is that this right? This month, yeah, so seven years. Wow. Um, Puddin' River Chocolates is actually uh, was established in 2003. So we've actually been retail for seven years of that time. I'll be darned. So, yeah. So how, how did you ever get oh, into it's, chocolate? It's, no, because you, a little bit of background. That I've be been in the food industry for 30 or 35 years, okay. and um, mainly the catering and then the deli and creating salads and food for a long, long time. So my, you know, my family has been, they're longtime cooks and wonderful sure. comfort cooks. And um, so, the chocolates naturally was just a kickoff from yeah. doing what I did. Sure. Um, a corporate chef friend of mine kind of got me going in it, and it was interesting at first, a challenge, and then it just became a great passion. Hmm. So we still do the food part of it, so I still have that. Yeah. And then this part is just creating, and the sky's the limit. You can create and do whatever you want to do with it. Oh my so. goodness, that sounds fantastic. <laughs> yeah. So the. Um, the the addition of the open up on Thursday and and you know for dinner and those things that was a natural just extension then yes. of the chocolate right but you love I mean you love I love both sides creating food I love and your exactly. menu really changes from week to week right it changes I mean, from week to week the, that's right. kind of the cool mm -hmm. thing right you never and know what you're gonna get you never know what you're gonna get yeah. and so people call in all the time you know and we're so small that we don't take reservations right. but normally there's a seat for everybody. And if they just wait, you know, they can get in. But we also, in addition to, to the uh, meals, we do all of our own homemade desserts here. Yeah. So yeah. it's What's the favorite dessert, awesome. by the way? It depends on the season. Like yeah. this week, we made a carrot cake. Okay. So I made carrot cake. And then um, I also made a really nice um, chocolate 
uh, pound cake. Uh, Last week we had carrot cake, or excuse me, a coconut cake and um, a banana cake. So it just, see, we're coming you're into You're killing Easter. me here, yeah, Tracy. You're killing so me. So we just try to focus on the seasons and what we, you know, want to do. But we always yeah. have our standard um, flourless chocolate truffle cake. So And that is a thick, that's deep, the rich. That's real dense. You, 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 yeah. Yeah. You got to get ready for chocolate when you get into that, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. People love that. I mean, it's chocolate all the way. But we have other chocolate, you know, we have a fudgy wedgy chocolate cake and some other different desserts and stuff. A lot of desserts go out of here. For sure. So. Well, we're in the, before we started taping this, we're in the back and just watching some of the mm -hmm. process and you got Pam's back there creating some stuff. What is she she's making? making right she's making the hazelnut the toffee. The hazelnut toffee. We have a couple large orders for that, so yeah. she's gearing up with that. And then she'll make a peanut brittle and a pistachio chardonnay oh. brittle. So we actually use a chardonnay wine in it. Wow. And it's just fabulous. Oh my goodness. So oh that goes goodness. out to retail stores. And then, um, and then we've got somebody, um, they're actually foiling some medallions for lace. Leif's right. Auto. Yeah. Oh, so we've got for really? Leif's Auto. That's yeah. Cool. So we've got some of those cool. too. And um, and that's all a hand process. It's all a hand well, process. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Painstaking. So to get to that quality. It's crazy. Right? So it's spring all... vacation, we get the college girls back in for and sure. get Absolutely. them some time and yeah. it helps them a little bit too. Yeah. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Well, so. listen, if you haven't had an opportunity to get to Puddin' River Chocolate, look, this is the time. You know, the weekend's fantastic. Get in here and have some dinner. But check out the background here. Again, you see all of that stuff ready for Easter. And yeah. the Easter Bunny has been here already. The I Easter can Bunny see. has been here and hard at work for <laughs> sure. Hard. Yeah, <laughs> Listen, thank so, you so much. This yeah, has thank been you. fantastic. Great. And uh, let's do it again, yeah? Yeah, fun. Thank you so much. Thanks, Tony. <laughs>